So it was just a gruesome, horrifying scene, like something I've never seen before. No one, everybody's having a really hard time just even processing it as a reality. People, including at least one main rider, are dead after a crash with a group of motorcycle riders in New Hampshire, and now federal authorities are investigating. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Costa. The deadly crash happened on Friday night on Route 2 in Randolph, New Hampshire. New Hampshire State Police said a 2016 Dodge 2500 pickup collided with a group of motorcycle riders from the Jarheads Motorcycle Club on that two-lane highway in Randolph. Investigators are still trying to determine the cause of the crash, but they did identify the driver of the truck as Vladimir Zukowski of West Springfield, Massachusetts. The pickup truck appeared to be carrying a flatbed trailer and was on fire when emergency crews arrived. The vice president of the Northern Maine chapter of the Jarheads Motorcycle Club confirmed to New Center Maine that one Maine rider died in the crash. He did not identify that rider, but said they were a member of the Southern Maine chapter of the Jarheads. New Center Maine's Shannon Moss is live in New Hampshire tonight. And Shannon, police just held a news conference to update the public. Yes, Chris, they certainly did. We're at the Coas County uh, Courthouse here, and they did just hold a press conference. The Attorney General's office was here. The Governor of New Hampshire was here, Colonel of the New Hampshire State Police, as well as officials from NTSB, National Transportation Safety Board. It was quite a group of people here all together talking about the horrific crash that happened Friday evening, talking about what a devastating loss it is for so many people in this state and throughout New England. Now, they did tell us that the identity of the victims. They are not being released until tomorrow morning. And the reason for that, they say, is it has been a challenge to try to locate all of the family members of such a large group of people. We're looking at a situation where there is just a mass of casualties. But what we do know, Chris, is from being at that crash site earlier today, is that this is just a crushing loss for so many people. A motorcycle group riding along Route 2 in Randolph, New Hampshire Friday took a violent turn when police say a pickup truck hauling a car trailer struck the group. Seven people were killed, three injured. They were all part of Jarheads MC, a motorcycle group made up of active and veteran Marines from New England. This is really described by our investigators as one of the worst uh, investigations they have ever uh, completed. I've, I had my most senior investigators out last night uh, and they had never seen the tragedy uh, that they had saw uh, last night. On Saturday, friends of those killed and injured mourned at the site of the crash. They collected pieces of motorcycles and personal belongings from the debris scattered across the side of the road. Travis Hood and Chloe Lamontang were some of the first people to come across the crash Friday. Hood said he did what he could to help. I put a tourniquet around his leg because I took my belt off. He had a knife on it, on the, the back of him, so I was able to make another notch in the belt to put it tight. What this couple saw is something they will never unsee. Seen out of a movie, you see. It looked like someone dropped a bomb right there, and there was just parts, pieces, bodies, body parts. Bill Brown, a retired Army veteran and also an avid motorcyclist, came to the spot where the crash happened to pay his respects. It doesn't matter what branch of the service. You know, they're brothers in arms. They're doing things that they like to do. They're getting together, having a good time in this tragedy. Jesus. And again, what a sight it was at that crash site, Chris, today, as you saw one Marine, former Marine after another, coming there, uh, putting down American flags to represent one of each of their fellow Marines that uh, was killed or a member of the group that was injured. It was, it was very moving. Uh, one gentleman who I saw was looking through debris and actually picked up a, a pin that said USMC, United States Marine Corps, and he just, just buckled over in, in tears. It was very hard to watch. I do want to let you know that we are told this investigation obviously very complex and it is just in the beginning stages. So we will follow this, of course, uh, throughout the investigation and uh, let you know the latest as it develops. Chris, we'll send it back to you. All right, Shannon, thank you very much. Maine has two chapters of the Jarheads Motorcycle Club, one in Topsom and another in southern Maine based in York County near Wells. The vice president of the northern chapter, Chris Crawford, told New Center Maine that one member of the Southern Maine chapter died in the crash. He said there were several dozen riders all going to Randolph for the yearly meeting of the motorcycle club. 
Crawford said he was planning to go down last night too until he changed his mind at the last minute and later learned of the horrific crash while back in Maine. It's unthinkable. I can't, it's, it's, no one, no one, everybody's having a really hard time just even processing it as a reality. These guys were the driving force of this club. They're the ones that kept everybody motivated. They're the ones that, that basically were the driving force to push everybody out and to do the best we can for the veteran community, specifically Marines, but veterans as a whole. They're here. They're heroes in my in my eyes, and and I think most everybody in that knows them. At the last second, I decided to um, wait until Saturday to go down, which in in a round of a roundabout way saved my life. We got to be we got to really pull together now because this is going to be a rough time for us for a, for a while, for a long time. It's gonna we're gonna feel this for a long time. Maine's motorcycle community is in shock and waiting for answers about what happened and why. We spoke to riders in Maine who are all talking about Friday's crash and praying for the families who lost loved ones. Riders rumble into LA Harley Davidson for the weekly open house. We see almost the same customers every Saturday. But this Saturday is different. Sad day, put it that way, sad day. The crash that killed seven motorcycle riders in New Hampshire is on everyone's minds. Oh yeah, everyone is. Everyone. Dennis Weber is a Marine and a biker, just like the members of Jarhead's MC killed on Friday night. Oh, uh, dev devastated. When my wife showed me the picture, I was just like, felt drained for a second. I was like, to think that seven of them, all good friends like that. You know, there's, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's a horrific uh, situation. John Story has been selling bikes at LA Harley Davidson for 13 years. We were right at opening at 9 o'clock, sold three bikes within 30 minutes. But has never heard of a crash so deadly. You know, there's seven families now that lost a loved one. He says crashes like this can make bikers think twice. But I'm sure some see this and go, maybe I've had enough. He's hoping drivers will look twice and watch out for bikers Riders connected by two bonds, the military and motorcycles. I mean, in the service, you have their back, they have yours. I mean, it's, you, you, you need them there, you want them there, because they got your back, and it's vice versa. The store's flags at half staff are a solemn reminder of what this biking community has lost. It hits home. So, it's a brotherhood. Here's a look at some of the statistics for motorcycle crashes in both Maine and New Hampshire. The New Hampshire stats from the Governor's Highway Safety Association show that 15 people died in motorcycle crashes in 2017, 18 people died in motorcycle crashes in 2016. In Maine, there were 21 deadly crashes last year, 27 in 2017, 20 in 2016, 31 in 2015, and 12 in 2014. And these numbers come from the Maine Department of Transportation. People all over New England and the country are sending prayers and support to the victims and their families on social media. Fellow motorcycle riders, the New Hampshire governor, and even congressional delegates are offering condolences to those who lost loved ones in the crash. If you want to send thoughts or prayers, go comment on this story on our Facebook page. And people have done a lot more than just post about their feelings about this crash. A GoFundMe page was created, and already in just eight hours, more than $55,000 have been raised. We have the link to this GoFundMe page on our website and mobile app.